Hello again, I'm Dave Absley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm at the Vent and Furnace State Forest near MacArthur, Ohio, and I'd like to introduce you to Mockernut Hickory. The scientific name for Mockernut Hickory is Caria tomentosa, and both of those names give us some real clues on how to identify this hickory. This hickory is fairly common in southern and eastern Ohio in our Appalachian counties, but it's more of a southern species, and you'll find it as far south as North Florida and even Texas. So how do we identify mockernut hickory? Well, first of all, mockernut hickory has compound leaves. These compound leaves have seven to nine leaflets. Normally there are sevens, but this one has nine. And like the other hickories, it'll tend to have paired leaflets near the base, and then when you get near the tip, the three at the tip are much larger. And again, seven to nine leaflets is very common for mockernut hickory. The rachis, or the stalk on the leaf, is somewhat hairy, or tomentose, which is where it gets its scientific name, Caria tomentosa. Again, this rachis, even when the leaflets are gone, and you'll find these on the ground under the tree, you can see that it's somewhat hairy. And in fact, when you take rachises, or rachi, of a compound leaf and rub your fingers along, you can actually count the number of leaflets, two, four, six, and then three at the tip makes nine. So that's a great way to identify this tree. Like the other hickories, again, the leaves are alternate on the twig. So you've got these large compound leaves alternating sides of this twig. The twig itself is somewhat hairy or tomentose as well. So that's another good clue. Large stout twig, typically means you have large leaves, and again, these are usually about a foot or longer in length. And then another great ID characteristic is this large swollen bud at the tip. Here's another one here. They have scales on the outside that hang on during the summer months, but eventually they fall off. So they're known as deciduous scales, and then they'll expose these silky, hairy, uh, smooth scales underneath. They're typically a light tan color, and they feel very silky or hairy. It's kind of shaped like ice cream on top of an ice cream cone is a great way to identify it for some folks. But again, a large swollen bud, about a half inch or larger in length, and a stout twig to support these large hairy leaves. So how else do we identify mockernut hickory? Well, the nuts, of course. And this is where the other name comes into play. Mockernut hickory means that it's kind of it's a little bit of a mockery. When you pick up the nut in the husk, you might think it's a very large hickory nut inside, but it's kind of fooling you because it has a fairly thick husk. Not as thick as shagbark or shellbark hickory. Typically, they're about a quarter inch or so in thickness, and then inside you'll have this angled bony nut. Um, you'll feel the angles on it. It's very hard, sharp pointed tip, but it's not as big as you might expect with a, a nut that looks much larger when the husk is attached. These things are preferred by wildlife and they will get consumed, probably not as sweet and tasty as shag bark and shell bark, but they're a pretty good nut for mainly rodents. Some birds like wild turkeys uh, might also be able to eat them as well. And then after the squirrels have worked on them and broken up, open the nut, then smaller birds might be also able to take advantage of it. And then finally, the bark. The hickories are usually pretty distinguishable by their bark. Mockernut hickory has these more rounded ridges, and this one's a very large one, so they're not quite as rounded as we're used to. They tend to have more rounded ridges on the top, and then they're interlacing as we look at the tree. So again, not flaking off like a shag bark, not as tight as a bitter nut, but you'll have these rounded interlacing ridges. And then finally, when we look up into this canopy, um, most hickories will turn a bright golden color in the fall, and they're still putting on quite a good show, even though we're in the November, actually at November 8th today. But we still got some nice colors on some of our hickories and oaks here in southern Ohio. Thank you so much for your time, and please take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.